Um, they tell us that we've got light with a wavelength. Let me put my video back on. It says here we've got light with a wavelength of 7.8 times 10 to the minus 7 shines on a metal. The metal has a work function of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 19. All right. So I've got the definition here for you guys. I'll just write it down. Um, so the work function is, let's type it out. It's the minimum energy, um, minimum energy needed to uh, eject, or sometimes they use the word release, to eject an electron from the surface of a metal. Okay, so I'll just leave that up there for a little bit while you guys check it out. Right, question 11.4.2, calculate the maximum kinetic energy of the ejected electrons. Right, so if you understand the photoelectric effect quite well, you should understand, and this formula is on your formula sheet, that the main formula that governs this entire chapter goes like this. That is the main formula for this entire chapter. Um, now, sometimes, sometimes uh, this part over here can be rewritten as E equals to HF. Okay. Sometimes this one, you can rewrite it as H times F zero. And then sometimes we can expand this into half MV squared. Why do I say sometimes? What I mean is it depends on the way they ask the question and you might have to change it a little bit, okay? So um, let's actually get rid of this E equals HF. Let's just leave it like that, okay? And so H is Planck's constant, which they'll obviously give to you. Um, right, so 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34. I know like in some curriculums like the IEB, sometimes they just use 6.6. .6, so don't panic um, if I'm using 6.63. You just use whatever you your curriculum uses or yeah, whatever your teacher's been using. Okay, so um, some a few extra things, a bit of a summary for you guys. F0 is what we call the thresh hold frequency, threshold frequency. Um, this part over here, remember that this chapter is all about electrons. So that is the mass of an electron, which is a constant of 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31. Okay. And then Planck's constant, we already said is a constant over there. And then this part here is the frequency of the light. Whereas the threshold frequency is of the metal, okay? So this part over here is the light. Whereas this part over here is the metal. It's an awesome chapter. Like once you realize how easy this chapter is, it's some nice marks, okay? So that's it, guys. It looks like an absolute... What well, doesn't look too bad? It's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but let me quickly show you. So, okay. Oh, and then another formula we must know for this chapter is the C equals to F lambda. So whenever they give you wavelength, then you need to get the frequency by using this formula over here. Okay. Now, remember that C is a constant of three times 10 to the power of eight. Let me write that a little bit better three times 10 to the power of eight. Okay, so remember these things and we are good to go. So question 11.4.2 says, calculate the kinetic energy of the ejected electrons. All right, so let's see what we have here. They give us the wavelength. Okay, fantastic. Now remember that light, that's, that's the light that they are talking about. So we'll definitely have to use this formula just now just to get the frequency. And then it says that the metal has a work function of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 19. So they've already given us the work function. So that's great. That means we do not have to go and use this formula over here. We don't have to use that because they've already given us the work function. Then, um, okay, so we're gonna say E is equal to W0 plus EK. Now to get E, we would normally say HF, right? That's what I said over here, HF. However, we don't have 
the frequency of the light. But we can get it by using this formula over here first. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to say um, C equals to F lambda. And I'm going to say 3 times 10 to the 8 equals to F multiplied by lambda, which is 7.8 times 10 to the minus 7. We can then get the frequency. And I'm not going to round off completely because it's not my final answer, but I'm going to go um, at least three decimals, 3.486 times 10 to the 14. And what's the units of frequency? It is Hertz, HZ. All right, so what F is that? That is the F of the light. So that would be this F over here in that formula there, okay? So now we can say, um, I'm coming back to this formula up here now, and we can say HF equals to W0, which is, yeah, let's just say W0 for now plus EK. So then we can say Planck's constant, 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34, times by the frequency that we just calculated. equals to the work function, which is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 19, plus the kinetic energy, which we are trying to find. There we go. Now it's just a matter of solving for EK. And if you had to solve for EK, we should find that you get, oh, it's a 19 over here. There we go. There we go, lovely. And we should get EK is equal to 7.5, times 10 to the power of minus 20, and that would be measured in joules.